Right in the beginning of the Pasha of Ayakhel, Torah says about the mitzvah of Shabbat. The verse reads as follows. Sheishes yomim, six days, te'ose melacha. Work shall get done. Ubayoyim ha'shvi, yelachem kodesh Shabbat, Shabbos rein, l'ashem. And on the seventh day should be a holy day, day of rest, the day of Shabbos. What does it mean, te'ose melacha? Work shall be done. Should they say, ta'ose melacha, you should work? But the answer is, that we have to understand that the work gets done. The result of the work is God's doing. We have to do. And we have to recognize that the result, the success of what we do, lies in God's hands. And God says, when you work this way, and you realize that Shabbos is coming, and you observe the Shabbos, then Shabbos will make sure that the whole work that you did the whole week should be successful. So I want to share with you an amazing story how the respect and keeping of Shabbos brought tremendous success. Years ago here in Montreal, there was actually the largest, the biggest trucking dealership in Quebec. It was called Richelot Trucking. Big family. And this company, everybody knew. Shabbos, this company is closed. In fact, for a while, Ford Motors would let them sell their, their vehicles, their trucks, because they're not open on Shabbos. And I said, okay, eventually Ford came begging them, please take our line. And they became the biggest dealer of Ford in Quebec. At one point, they received an order from the Chinese government for a hundred trucks. It's a big deal. Months of negotiations, specific requirements, all is ready. The moment for signing, after months of negotiation with lawyers and accountants on both sides, everything is good. Now the signing has to be taken place. For that, the Minister of Commerce from China was coming specifically to sign on that deal. And this is a story that was in the 60s or the early 70s. China was not as wealthy as it is today. And at that time for them, buying 100 trucks was an important deal. They were supposed to arrive on a Tuesday, three days working, and if everything is good, they will sign. The Richler brothers, as they were called, they were getting ready to welcome this delegation. And then they get a notification that the minister is delayed, won't be able to arrive on Tuesday, will arrive on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, Wednesday. Still enough time. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, half a day. I think it's fine. Wednesday, they get the notification. I'm sorry, the minister is delayed again. We'll not be able to come until Thursday. So they said, look, we're going to start on Thursday to work. We'll work part of the day on Friday and we'll continue after Shabbos. There was no reaction from the Chinese. Thursday came and again, delegation is delayed, only can come Friday morning. Richler says, Mr. Richler says, I just want you to be aware that Friday we close, I think they said, either 1 o'clock or 3 o'clock, I don't remember now for sure. But on Shabbos we don't work. The minister from China coming. I appreciate, but God is more important than the minister of China. So you're welcome to come on Friday, work for a few hours, we'll continue after Shabbos. You can come out to Shabbos and work then. We'll get back to you. We come back and says, no, the minister says he wants to come on Friday morning at 9 o'clock. But remember, we close early. Minister came with his whole entourage, with his lawyers and the accountants and the way it's supposed to be. Mr. Richler, in plural, welcomes the minister. Where would you like to start? See the merchandise, see the books? No, he says, the minister, 
I just want to meet with you personally. Just the brothers and me, and we'll tell everybody else to leave. Okay? Come into the office. Minister looks at him and says, where is the final paper to sign? There's mountains of documents. No, no, the final signature. I'm ready to sign right away. And he says, are you serious? And he says the following. We inquired about you. And we heard that indeed, Shabbos for you is a serious matter. People who are so respectful of their religion, we trust them. We can sign on the spot. And they signed, and that was the biggest deal they ever made because of their commitment to Shabbos. They are Semelacha. The work was done for them by God. <laughs>